Mm. Mm. Mm -hmm. That's authentic. That's good Jamaican this right there. I hit hard bars, you can't tell me nothing. Spit fire, burning shit like a fucking toaster. Your main bitch wanna pull me closer. What's good, my mafia? It's your girl Mo. And as y'all can see, I'm back with another moot bang and a story time right quick. Ignore the loud drunk people in the back. They're making a lot of noise. <clears throat> but I had to come to y'all do this mukbang. I know I had on this shirt yesterday, but that's okay. You know why? Because I'm about to get dripped out and go out. I just ain't got dressed yet. We ain't got a crispy haircut. Y'all like the braids. Yeah, you know. A little something, something. Light drip on the hair. You feel me? Two braids, shawty. So today, y'all, I got some jerk chicken, rice, and cabbage. Look at that. Let me get y'all close up. On that jerk chicken and all of that goodness. Alright. So y'all, today I'm coming to y'all with a quick little story time. Um, I got some I also got some oxtails. Now y'all, the craziest thing about where I went is the people serving the food weren't Jamaican. You feel me? It was a Caribbean spot. But the people who were serving the food were like, I want to say, look at that oxtail. Mm. Y'all see that oxtail? Look at that oxtail. Man. Serious. I'm so hungry. Like, seriously. Hungry. Oh, she going off about them not cleaning up um, YouTuber issues. All right, y'all. So I got the jerk. I got the rice under the jerk. I got a plantain and I got my um, oxtail right here, okay? And we're going to get it in. We're going to say the prayer right quick because you know we got to do the prayer. I love my hair. God is good. God is great. And we thank him for this food. We gonna thank him in the morning, noon, and night. Cause God, God, God is dynamite. Amen. Amen. Game. All right, y'all. We gonna get right to it. We gonna start with some of this good old cabbage. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm. Mm. Mm-mm-mm. -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm hmm This is good. Y'all, I love Jamaican food. I haven't had Jamaican food since I got here. This is my first time having it since I've been to Arizona. Mm. Two big pieces of chicken, too. I'm not going to eat all of them. I low-key was supposed to get Max on before I started my mukbang, but... He got other stuff going on. I ain't got nothing to do with me. Y'all hear him yelling? Mmm. Mmm-hmm. That -hmm. jerk chicken. Mmm-hmm. I do want to tell y'all that I want to welcome all my new subscribers. We almost went and hit 50K. I'm going to get the 50K giveaway popping. Y'all already know what's going on. Mm. That one got a little greased up on the drive home. But that's all right. I ain't never hurt nobody, you feel me? Let's try this rice. Mm-hmm. Y'all see it? I know y'all see it. Stir that up, get the sauce real good all up and through there. Mm-hmm. 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 That's authentic. 
That's good Jamaican this right there. Caribbean. I don't wanna offend nobody. But this is good here. This here? Mm. Mm. My cabbage gone. They could have double scooped the cabbage or something. That wasn't enough cabbage. Compared to everything else. Mmm. Let's try one of these oxtails, y'all. We ain't gonna put it on paw. Oh, they put potatoes in the oxtails too, so they play you out the ox. But look at that there. Y'all see that? That's what you call oxtails. If you've never tried oxtails, go try it. It's good. Let's see if they fall off the bone with the goodness. Mm -hmm. <laughs> They're falling. <laughs> the meat is coming right off. With that rice. Mm-hmm. Mm, 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 mm. They snapped. Mm. Shout out to my subscriber that requested I ate this. You're a real one. You're definitely a real one. Mm. So perfectly cooked. They did their thing. Mm. That chicken. Mm -hmm. That's fall off the bone goodness. That is fall off the bone goodness, y'all. Mm. Mm hmm. story time but mm. Mm. Got curtain bone. from the looks of things I ain't gonna be able to talk hmm Another oxtail. Mm. Y'all, this is good. Look at that. Just come right apart like that there. Mm -hmm. Give it to me. Where you going? <laughs> Nowhere. Mm. Y'all, this is good. Now, I do want to talk about something with y'all. And it's kind of a touchy subject. Okay. I want to talk about the day I lost my brother. The day my brother got killed. And I know people can relate because y'all lose loved ones, you know. People pass away. But my brother was only 22 or 23 when he passed. Well, when he got killed. And I'm I'm don't more so want to talk about how he died and all that. I want to talk about how I felt. You know what I'm saying? Like how him being killed made me feel. Mm. 
basically y'all before my brother passed um he was kind of you know he was having issues at home because he's my brother on my dad's side he was having issues at home like him and his mom wasn't getting along and stuff like that you know how that go when you were teen when you were like ending your teens in your early 20s how you get into it with your mom and stuff but basically my brother would come to my mama house and like stay with us and you know hang out with us and you know just vibe out with us because he didn't want to be home all the time but you know that happened all the time we always stayed in contact we lived around the corner from each other and all that but at this particular time in life, my mom was in the, in a nursing home, and um, you know she was one of them people who wanted her house a certain way. She left the house to me for me to make sure everything was good, make sure everything stayed in place, make sure you know what I'm saying nobody was there that she didn't want there. And. Basically, at this time, my mom was in the nursing home. Like, my brother, he was going through one of those spells where he was, like, getting into it with his mama and stuff and wanted to come to our house. But my mom, she it's not that she didn't want him there. She didn't want anybody there at the time because, you know, she was going through her own little emotions about being in a nursing home and stuff because she had to be there for therapy. So it was like, I don't want nobody in my house but who lived there and stuff like that. Not to be mean, you know what I'm saying? It was just, y'all got mamas. Y'all know how that is. Oxtails is life. Mm. So, at this time, this was a time my brother wanted to stay. You know, my mom had told me like, I, I don't want nobody in my house. You know what I'm saying? Like, I didn't have a choice but to kind of tell him, like, bro, you know what I'm saying? I love you. I care about you. But you can't stay. You can't be here while my mom not here. You feel me? Or whatever. So, you know, he kind of he kind of got mad at me or whatever. And we kind of not got into it. But we exchanged some words and stuff. You know, he was kind of he was kind of irritated at the fact that he couldn't stay there. But but I had no control, you know what I'm saying? At this time I was what? Maybe 20 At this time he had to be like maybe 20 and I was like 24. This was some years ago, y'all. So I don't really remember how old we was at the time, but I know he was he was like younger than what he was when he passed because he passed maybe like no he was even younger than that maybe he was like 19 going on 20 and I was like 20 24 23 something like that I don't know but basically you know what I'm saying we exchanged our words he had got a kind of got you know irritated with me at the fact that I couldn't make my mama let him stay or whatever and you know after that, we didn't really see each other like that. Like, maybe, what? Maybe, like, two years went by, I ain't see him. Because he was, like, doing, he was like in, in college, and he was doing his own thing. Like, he was real positive, real spiritual. You know what I'm saying? A beautiful soul. Like, my little brother was, he could dance. He was talented. I miss him. That's crazy. So, when he passed, the last memory I had of us was arguing. You know what I'm saying? And when he first passed, and I was told that he had got shot, because um, he got into it at the basketball court, it just kind of shocked me. Like, what? They took bro out the game over over a basketball game? Oh, well, he got into it. He was playing basketball. He got into it with some dude. Dude. We ain't got a gun shot him. Crazy. But I felt so guilty. I felt so bad, you know what I'm saying, about the fact that, you know what I'm saying, the last 
words we had was kind of like an argument and stuff like that. And it just, you know, it really ate me up for a while. But my point of this, you know, the story time is to basically tell y'all, like, if y'all got siblings and y'all have disagreements, you never know when somebody going to go. So just try to mend any, you know, any animosity you have towards people, even if it's not a sibling, anybody, you feel me, that you care about. Because it's not worth them leaving Earth and you being stuck with that guilt. You feel me? Because I was stuck with guilt for a long time. And it took for me to mature and to grow up and to realize, like, Mo, it's okay. He believe you. Not believe you. It's okay. He um, forgive you. So, you know what I'm saying? Like, like I know bro love me. I know he forgive me for whatever disagreement we had. He, I know he understands now that he's an angel. That it was out of my control, you know. That I couldn't just go against what my mom said and stuff like that. So, it's all good. And I definitely know he was watching over me because I've been in some situations where I, I shouldn't be here. Like, I've been in situations where things got tough. But I should be like, you know what I'm saying? And he was my angel. My little brother. And I love him. I also want to say if you're currently going through what I went through, the storm will pass and everything that you feeling is gonna is gonna pass as well. Like you just gotta keep a Keep a keep stay 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 focused on the good memories. Try not to think about that one bad memory. Even though it's the last one, it's not the only one. You feel me? It's like you buy a batch of apples and there's one bad one in there. What about all them fifteen good apples? You feel me? That one bad apple don't mean anything. I got a birthday boy. What you had over there? How much chicken at? I ate it. You just gonna give me one. You ate it? You ate with your name. No, I didn't. I did my sushi. Where you get some sushi from? I been about sushi when we went to the store the first time. Oh, you full then? No, I ate two pieces. Taste it. I didn't want to get my apple. You like that? Hell no, you know I already ate on it. I ripped the leg off and ate it. You want it or not? No, fuck you. Okay. No, nah, but y'all, I'm pretty much done. Mac know he wants this piece of chicken. I don't know why he's acting like he done. I already had some of that, but I take it still. I just don't nope. take it without you letting you know I had it first. So, <laughs> I don't want to lie. <laughs> you don't want to lie? Yeah, so I said. <laughs> Mo Mafia. I love y'all. I appreciate you. Make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, turn on post notifications. Hit that bell so y'all know when we dropping bangers. Me and Mac, we going crazy. We were supposed to record a whole bunch of videos today, but we ended up doing all type of other stuff. Night? No. Okay. You like my chin shirt I gave you earlier? It was a good one. What does that mean? I didn't sure that you liked it the one I gave you. <laughs> He a weirdo, bro. <laughs> Make sure y'all go over to the 50K giveaway video. Leave a comment so y'all can be entered in the giveaway. Um, we on the road to 50K, y'all. We almost there. It's finna get lit. Uh, but yeah. That's pretty much it, y'all. I'm full. At this point, I'm just playing. I got one oxtail and a potato left right here. And then I got some rice and a piece of chicken. I'm going to give it to Matt because he know he want it. But I am going to finish this oxtail. Mm. 
Bangers coming. My mafia. We finna get lit. Cause we the shit. Gang.